lift. And lift off. Kate Rubin, Sergei Ryshikov, and Sergei Kuzberchkov now on their way to the International Space Station. A Russian Soyuz spacecraft blasted off from Kazakhstan for the International Space Station on Wednesday. But could this mission mark the end of an era? It's the last Russian flight scheduled to carry an American astronaut because they'll be flying on SpaceX instead. NASA microbiologist Kate Rubins is on board with two Russian cosmonauts. In 2016, she became the first person to sequence DNA in space. On Tuesday, Rubin spoke about the special anniversary that will take place while she's on the space station. 20 years anniversary of continuous human presence in space is going to be quite an event. And I think all three of us look forward to being there during that time. Lift off, the final lift off of Atlantis. NASA's space shuttle program ended in 2011. Since then, it's relied on Russia to ferry its astronauts to the space station. But in 2014, the U.S. space agency contracted SpaceX and Boeing to build competing space capsules in an effort to reclaim NASA's launch independence. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and crew. The eight billion dollar program enabled SpaceX's first manned trip to the space station in May, marking the first from home soil in nearly a decade. NASA and Russia's space agency Roscosmos have committed to continue the flight sharing partnership. They are in talks about flying Russian astronauts on U.S. vehicles and flying U.S. astronauts on Russian rockets when needed. But for now, this is the last time Russia will take an American astronaut into space. The latest in a chain that spans almost 20 years of continuous human presence in space.